Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Bree, and today I'm doing a companion to my top 25 greatest action movies of all time. This is the top 25 worst action movies of all time. Just like the top 10 of my other list were all Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, you're not going to find any Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Oh, I can't say none on this list, but you're not. it's not going to be flooded with Arnold movies. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that right now. I'm not going to spoil the list and tell you who is on it, but there's one action star who makes up a good chunk of this list, but I'm not going to say who it is because, you know, we'll get there when we get there. Number 25, worst action movie of all time is The Goddamn Fugitive. Now, as an action star, Harrison Ford, not great. No bueno. He, he's, uh, he's an actor. He's not an action star. He plays in movies that have action in them but he's not doing the action in indiana jones he's flying the plane or he's running from the nazis in star wars he's flying the plane or he's running from the stormtroopers he's not doing anything else but we're talking about the fugitive so i just burst your bubble there we're talking about the fugitive and what is he doing in the fugitive he's fucking running from the cops That's all he fucking does. He's not a, He's not an action star. He's a fucking jogger. He's a fucking marathon runner. Number 24, and this should be higher on the list by some people's estimations, but I put it here because it's not really a straight action movie. And as far as this particular genre goes, it's not the worst in this particular genre. But it is a crappy movie, and I'm not going to defend it, and I'm not going to try to say it was good. And yes, this is an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. It's probably the worst movie he's ever made, and it's Batman and Robin. I don't have to sit here and tell you how rubbish Batman and Robin is. You are still trying to bleach your brain to get that movie out of your head, just like I am. And unfortunately, they don't make bleach for, bleach for the brain. All the rum in the world can't scrub that piece of shit out of your head. I'm sorry, but those are the facts of life. Number 23, Wild Wild West. This was Will Smith's big dud. After having hit, after hit, after hit, and then he shat the bed. Wild Wild West is... I'm going to say kind of steampunk. Kind of. It's kind of a western. Kind of. It's almost an action movie, kinda. It's barely a comedy, kinda. And it's just a whole lot of suckage. Number 22, I put Iron Man, but this is all Iron Man. This is the Iron Man franchise. This is every Iron Man movie. Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3. They all fucking suck. Number 21 is G.I. Joe Retaliation. I originally had Rise of Cobra here, but then I remembered... Between the two, Retaliation sucks more. So, there it is. Number 20, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. Um, I like the first Transformers movie. I like the Bumblebee movie. I haven't seen any of the others but Revenge of the Fallen, and the Revenge of the Fallen made the list because it sucks. Number 19, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. This was the end of the franchise for me. This killed the franchise for me. I... Don't even watch the old the movies I like in this franchise anymore because this one killed it for me. Yeah. Number 18, I cheated. But it had to be done. It's James Bond 007. Fuck off. These are not good action movies. These are not good movies. They shouldn't be popular. They shouldn't be successful. They shouldn't be making these goddamn things in the new millennium. This franchise should have died after the first one. Number 17 is Die Hard 2. I put Die Hard 2 here because it's it's not a good fucking movie. It's not the worst Die Hard movie. Um, so others may appear on this list. I'll just say that. And it's not the worst Bruce Willis movie. Others may appear on this list. I'll just say that. But it's not a good movie. Number 16 is Speed 2. 
Speed is an iconic movie people like. Speed 2 is just a big pile of shit. Number 15. Uh, it hurt me to put this one on the list because I like Jean-Claude Van Damme. But even I can't defend this movie. It's Time Cop. I enjoy it. I personally enjoy it. Because I enjoy Jean-Claude Van Damme. But even I know this movie's no good. Number 14. The Original Speed. I hate this movie. It's rubbish. It's boring. It's the fucking... It's a fucking bus. For Christ's sake. They're driving a goddamn bus for two hours. Fuck off. Number 13 is Twister. Now, Twister is one that I do kind of sort of like a little bit, but only because I grew up in Kansas and I've been in tornadoes. But it's not a very good movie, so it had to make the list. Number 12 is The Lost World Jurassic Park. It's easily the worst in the franchise. Somehow, as bad as it was, it didn't kill the franchise, which is a goddamn miracle. But it's annoying as fuck. Number 11, and I cheated again. The entire motherfucking Fast and the Furious franchise. Fuck off, suck my girl dick, kiss my ass. Lick my nuts. Eat my asshole. This movie sucks. They all suck. Number 10, Triple X. I forced myself to watch this one because my friends were like, it's so fucking good, you have to see it. And they wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. And I really wish I hadn't seen this movie because Jesus Christ. Boring as sin. Number 9. Okay. I like number 9. Number 9 is a good movie. Number nine is a good sci-fi movie. Number nine is a good horror movie. But it's not a good action movie. And I put it on this list because it launched a sci-fi action franchise. And it's pitch black. And so I could have put anything here. I could I could have found a worse movie to put here. But I wanted to talk about pitch black because pitch black is one of those movies that has nothing to do with the sequels other than the main character, Riddick. So, that's it. Number eight, Taken. Now, I'm not going to put the whole franchise here. I, I could. But Taken's the only one I've seen and I didn't like it. I didn't like anything about it. I wish I hadn't seen it. I wish I could unsee it. Number seven is Bad Boys 2. If you watched my other video, Bad Boys was high on the list. I love Bad Boys I love Will Smith. And I like Michael Bay. Sue me. I do not like Bad Boys 2. Number six, I'm going to name it and then I'm going to let you scratch your head for a second because you've probably never heard of it. Tango and Cash. And you, you, just, you just raised an eyebrow and went, what the fuck is that? Are you insane words? Are those words? Yeah. It's the name of a movie, I guess. I guess. It's not a good movie. Number five is going to piss off the Stallone fans. It's Cobra. Cobra may or may not, and I'm not talking about it here today, be a good thriller or suspense or mystery or noir. It may or may not be a good cop movie. But it's not really a good action movie, is it? Not really. Number four, this is for all of you. This is for all of you. Number four is Deadpool, and I'm not even going to defend myself. Fuck this movie. Number three is Matrix Reloaded. The Matrix is one of the greatest fucking action movies of all time. The Matrix is one of the greatest sci-fi movies of all time. The Matrix is one of the greatest movies of all time. And The Matrix Reloaded just came and just shot on and said, we don't give a fuck. We just want your money. Give us your motherfucking money. I gave them my motherfucking money, and I wish I hadn't. Number two, you're going to see Bruce Willis on this list again. This is Hudson Hawk. Okay. This is on my list of worst action movies of all time, even though I like this movie. I do I enjoy it. But I enjoy this as a comedy, not as an action movie. The action is all over the place and incoherent and inconsistent and rubbish 
But it's a funny movie. It is a funny movie. It is. It's a legitimately funny movie. So, if this was... It, I mean, if I was making a list of comedies... I may have already done comedies. This might be on my list of comedies. You know, somewhere. Maybe if I was doing top 50, maybe. This would be in my top 50. Probably. But it's not a good action movie. Number one... Worst action movie of all time. I hate this movie. I loathe this movie. I get angry when people talk about it. I get especially angry around Christmas time when people talk about it. Especially because it is not a goddamn Christmas movie. And if you think it is, I don't want you watching my videos. Well, I, I take that back. I don't care. You, you're probably going to stop watching my videos as soon as I say Die Hard anyways. You've, you've probably already made up your mind. I, my opinion doesn't align with yours if you think this is a Christmas movie. So, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. You know, please subscribe. Yes, of course. You know, I'm sorry for being a bitch. But at the same time, let's be real. If you think Die Hard is a Christmas movie, knowing full goddamn good and well that I don't, we're probably not got compatible tastes. So unless you're watching my mo my videos, ironically, you're not going to agree with me because this movie's rubbish. I fucking hate Die Hard. I will not go so far as to say I hate Bruce Willis, but I despise Bruce Willis. I despise him enough that if he's in it, you have to convince me to watch it. If it's a Die Hard movie, you can't convince me to watch it. I'm I'm over it. I'm I'm not even. I'm just not even. I'm over it. I fucking hate Die Hard. And it is not a Christmas movie. At all. Absolutely not. That is the law. God has spoken through me. He entered me and, and, and his voice came out of my mouth. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. 